Good morning. Guess where we are today? That sound gives it away a bit, doesn't it? We're at London King's Cross. And look what's here. It's the Flying Scotsman. Well, not the Flying Scotsman, but a modern day version of it. 91101. Freshly repainted into its LNER Retro 225 livery. And doesn't she look absolutely amazing? Now, just leaving the station, we've got a Thames Link Class 700 going into Gasworks Tunnel, so that's probably off to Cambridge via Hitchin, via the Great Northern Main Line. So that's going into Gasworks Tunnel, southern end of Gasworks Tunnel. And we've got a train coming out of Gasworks Tunnel, which is a boring old Azuma. Not my favourite trains, they're all the same, but might as well get a, get a recording of it coming in. So this is a class 800. Is it a class 800? Oh, it's a class 801. 801, 102, coming into King's Cross. That's probably come down on a service from the north or from Edinburgh. There's another Azuma unit in the platform, which I'm not really too bothered about, to be honest with you. Seeing one of these trains, you might as well see them all. And it's a double Azuma because it's coupled onto another set. Woo! How bonkeroony is that? Totally, utterly bonkeroony, mate, in a sort of IET Azuma type stuff. Rock a doodle do there, mate. A class 800 and a class 801 coming into London King's Cross. Now, that's quite unusual for these Azumas to be double coupled, but um, they do exist, as you can see. So we'll leave that one. And this is the rear car, so this is 801-105. Oh, Japanese oh. And over there, we have a proper locomotive there. That's a class 91. That's class 91, 91-114, one, uh, Durham Cathedral in its LNER Coke can livery, along with the graphics featuring Durham Cathedral. But this, as you can see, this looks absolutely immaculate. This is my focus of my attention. Absolutely gorgeous machine. 91-101 or 91-001 as it was originally before it got refurbished in the early 2000s at Doncaster Works. And as you can see, it's painted in the new LNER Clariton Red, the uh, Retro 225 livery. And look at that nameplate. The iconic Flying Scotsman nameplate there which it's nice that they've kept it on the locomotive. And we'll see a view of it from the number two end, or its slab end. So there's the view of the locomotive from its number two end. So there's actually a driving cab at this end. Now this driving cab is not used all the time. It's only used, let's say, in the event of emergency or if, it, if the locomotive needs to haul a slower speed train such as a sleeper or a parcels train that it used to have back under BR days. But look at that. I mean, that is a superb livery and that is actually physically repainted. It's not vinyl. It's not any of this cheap crap vinyl. This is actually paint, proper paint and properly applied and it looks absolutely superb. And well done to LNER for actually re start making a start on repainting their Class 91 locomotive fleet into this superb livery. So far 91127, that's been done into this livery, along with 91101 and 91105, which I've photographed all three so far. But this is just a superb livery and it's also based on the original British Rail intercity livery that these locomotives would have carried between 1989 and 1997 when GNER started to run their privatised franchise on the London and North Eastern Railway. So that's a superb, superb view of this Pioneer Class 91 electric locomotive. Now the maximum design speed of these Class 91s 
was originally 140 miles an hour but at the moment they're only limited to 125 miles an hour because if they ran at 140 miles an hour they'd run a bit too fast and upon doing so they'd pull down all the overhead wires. Now 91101 is in charge of the 1403 LNER express service to Leeds where the first station on the service will be Peterborough followed by Doncaster, Wakefield, Westgate and finally Leeds. But this is just one superb locomotive and I've, from a young age, since my teenage years, following the electrification of the East Coast Main Line from London King's Cross all the way out to Edinburgh Waverley in 1991. These have been superb locomotives and it's just good that LNER have retained some of these where they're in the course of being repainted into this fine LNER retro 1225 livery and also the rest of the Mark IV carriages they will be repainted into this retro 225 livery in due course. So this is 91101 about to leave London King's Cross for Leeds. Um, so I hope you enjoy this video. This is looking into King's Cross with a couple of the Azumas, Class 800 801 Azumas over here. But sob them, I'm more interested in this. Great British engineering. Class 91. So I shall say ta for a bit and ta for the like. <laughs>